Hello, I'm Sergeant Patricia Raven, and this is the Blue and Review for December 2017. The Davie Police Department is investigating this incident where a female used a stolen credit card at a Walgreens in Weston. If you recognize her, please give us a call or Broward Crime Stoppers. You may be eligible for a reward of up to $3,000 and remain anonymous. On December 11th, two females went to the Best Buy store in the tower shops. After they tried to steal items by putting them in a baby stroller, they were stopped by loss prevention. They ran out of the store and got in a car. After fleeing the police, they crashed that car and ran away on foot. All three subjects were apprehended a short time later and are facing numerous felony charges. On December 23rd, Alan Luna went to pick up some car parts at the U Pull It on State Road 7. Since kids aren't allowed in the salvage yard, Luna left his two children locked in the car. Thankfully, a customer heard the kids crying and called 911. The video shows the children were left alone in the hot car for almost an hour. Luna was placed under arrest for two counts of child abuse. On December 28th, David detectives made an arrest on a sexual battery that occurred in 2010. A new type of DNA technology was able to render a composite of what the offender may look like. After a canvas of the area, detectives found that Hugo Heron Polanco looked very similar to the sketch. Heron consented to a DNA test, which was a match to the DNA taken off of the victim. Heron was placed under arrest and charged with multiple felonies. Thank you, Florida Track and Golf Stream, for getting us our newest member of the Davie Police Department. Tiz Robert Charles, a retired racehorse, started his new career as a Davie Police Horse. He's been in training for a few weeks and is doing well. We'll keep you posted as he progresses. Mark your calendars, the annual Police Fire Expo is Saturday, January 27th. Come out to the event at the Public Safety Complex, which is located at 1230 South Knob Hill Road. We're right at the corner of 595 and Knob Hill. The event is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and there will be demonstrations, activities, and even a petting zoo for the kids. So bring your whole family. Please follow us on social media. And remember, when you see an emergency vehicle stopped on the side of the road, move over. It's not an option, it's the law.